Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Buck Rogers Countdown to Doomsday. Now, one of my commenters suggested that it might be a good idea to split up the chef grenades among the entire party so as to increase the chance that we can lay down some chaff before robots start firing at us. So I've done that uh, with the exception of Scotty since he doesn't have a grenade launcher. And I've saved the game again and we are ready to get moving. And I think we will go ahead and change the difficulty level because I know we're going to run into robots. And we'll save it again. Oh crap, we are so low on... Hopefully we can go to Hygieia first and refuel. <laughs> and let's make sure we've got enough ammo for everyone. Yeah, I think we did... Remember, we did capture that pirate ship starting at the end at the end of the previous episode. Processes, oh, pff, quite similar. To that for capturing ram ships, it's just that instead of ram warriors and Ram robots, you have pirate warriors and pirate leaders and pirate robots. And when you get down to engineering, instead of ram warriors and ram technicians, you just have a bunch of pirate warriors instead. So, no big deal. But hey, as long as I'm here, I might as well buy ammo. Do they have anything I want to get here? They do have Martian rocket rifles and Martian rocket pistols. Hmm. Which maybe would be worthwhile purchasing. Yeah, it's not something that we already have. Oh. I think I'll start with a rocket pistol apiece. Generally, pistols have higher rates of fire. Then rifles do. Oh, they also tend to have a shorter range. Okay, now we have to buy ammo for our new rocket pistols, which is quite expensive. Okay, that looks good. And now we'll just go to the port. Check for repairs. Now we need to repair hull and sensors. And we need to buy lots and lots of fuel.
Okay, we need one missile reload. We're okay on medical supplies, and now we can launch. Yes, we can still visit the comm center now. Asteroid located, landing. Intruder alert! Okay, and basically we have seen this particular battle already back when I thought I wasn't going to be able to rescue Atha at all. So I'm going to pause the recording, take care of this, and then we'll continue on with this mini mission. So hang on. And we're back, and arms alarms continue to blare. So while we're here, before we keep moving, let's make sure everyone has their heavy weapons equipped. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll save and keep moving. And I don't recall this particular mini mission very well, so I'm just going to explore everything. Desert apes watch you piteously from tiny dirty. Also, this is where all the desert apes are. Should we open the cages? Mm, maybe? The apes leap from their cages and attack the team! And they are too close. I think. To use heavy weapons on. Or are they? We could aim one right there. Ouch. I know one of our people has a microwave gun and that would be really effective on these guys. Ah, that would be Hosita. Okay, now we just have the one ape left. Okay, no booty, so we have to re-equip heavy weapons after battle. In fact, not even if we didn't even have to have everybody have a turn. That's probably good enough. Okay, he has to re-equip his rocket launcher. Yeah. Okay. That's done. I probably should have. Shrieking desert apes throw handfuls of dirt and pebble at the team, then run away. But, you know, we do have them cornered. So, how they're going to run away, I'm not sure. So basically I'm just fo doing the follow the right wall. The walls are lined with caged desert apes. They're, yeah, their trainer basically opens them and runs. It's 
So why they have all these desert apes in a communication center, I have no idea. Obviously, we do not need chaff grenades against desert apes. We just need to whack them upside our head, upside the head with our melee weapons and microwave guns. Ouch. Now, obviously, we are not going to need a rocket launcher on one desert ape. That would be silly. So we'll use his needle gun instead. And then switch back to the rocket launcher for whenever we run into the next battle. And once again, no booty. Okay, now this time he, Scotty did use his rocket launcher. But probably Bran didn't. So, we're good. But, once again, why all these desert apes in a communications center? Interesting. What's in this room? This room is full of backup communications equipment. It's guarded by a robot. That's it. Just the one robot. Okay. Oh crap. Oh crap. You smash the backup equipment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she got knocked out. Didn't even use our stupid <laughs> chaff grenades. Oh, and then there is and then there's another room here. You startle the base commander. He retreats to the far door, leaving his guards to fight you. Okay. That looks good. Although it wanders off. And Hosita will want to switch to something other than her microwave gun.
Uh, maybe her needle gun. I'm going to gamble on making my saving throws against. Any stun grenades. That looks good. Well, that's just those three left. And this time we do get booty. Stun grenades and aerosol mist grenades. Oh joy. Let's see who's been collecting what. Okay, we'll have Nala pick up the stun grenades. Which there weren't that many of. I don't know if anybody's got aerosol mist grenades on them. I could give them to Jorah, though nobody else has them. She doesn't have them, does she? No. No. Well, yeah, aerosol mist grenades are useful if you're up against an opponent that uses laser weapons, but otherwise they're pretty useless, I think. And we really don't need the rest of this stuff. So, you smash the equipment in the secondary communications room. Oh, that must be, you can use the control panel to contact Neo and update them about the space. They congratulate you and begin to review past communications for security leaks. When your transmission is complete, you smash the panel. So the commander of this base fled through this door. Commander hastens through another door and a guard robot intercepts your pursuit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, of course, we may well still go through multiple chaff grenades just in this one battle because 
chaff grenades only last one round when you're in a zero G environment such as this. Good. You smash more communications equipment. And of course, we are re equipping our. heavy weapons after each battle which is tedious but something we need to remember to do okay so the commander probably went through this door here the commander flees into yet another room. No guards are apparent. We destroy the equipment in the room. Okay. And go through this door. The commander summons the last of his guards, a small group of unprepared technicians. Okay. Well, they shouldn't have heavy weapons, so probably Oh yeah. Just really piddly defenses. We do still have a minute or two left. I mean, RAM technicians don't have that many hit points, even at normal difficulty. Yeah, we're going to have to have Bran drop some of his stuff, I think. But what? Maybe he didn't really have room for that rocket pistol after all. And, yeah, they just have smart suits and heat guns. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh.
Hmm. Oh. We'll just give it back to Noah. Just trying to make sure that as many characters as possible are at their maximum movement allowance. The commander tries to shield himself behind the last of the communications equipment. You annihilate him and the equipment in a barrage of fire. Okay. So, does that mean we're done here? It might. Okay, we've been there. Sand squids are being trained to drill tunnels in the asteroid. Oh well. We probably didn't absolutely have to fight the sand squids, but yeah, this'll do. At least it's a change from Desert Apes. Try, I don't know, maybe there. Oh, crap! This is why we need poison antidotes. Okay, so now I know what sand squids do. Mean sand squids. Okay, so Podcane's been cured of poisoning. And then she got healed a bit. Yeah, just a few aerosol mist grenades. Which I think I gave to Jorah the last time. Of course. We have several poison antidotes, which I guess would be useful if our medic wasn't successful at doing treat poisoning, maybe. Did Scotty have his? Yeah. We should be very nearly back to the entrance. I hope. You find a cache of hidden equipment. 
Ooh, explosive grenades. I like those. We'll have Josita take those. Those are totally worth equipping. Yay. Is this the airlock? Yes, I would like to return to my ship. Your party is injured. Do you want to use the clinic? Yes. No. Then we're all done with the comm center. Let's get Hygia. And we will stop at the shop and reload on ammo and when we're done we'll go you know when we come back we will continue exploring the asteroids and hopefully get Nala and Jora and Hosita to the level cap as well before we finally get to Mercury and finish the game so we will see you then